Greetings from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to the GSL. We have many, 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 many exciting games for you today. I am Tasteless, and with me is Artosis. How you doing, man? I am ready, Tasteless, for this marathon of casting today. We're going to do nine best of threes overall. Yes. Wow. Wow. I'm sure we'll wow. sound great by the end of today. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here casting these games for you today. We have quite uh, a lineup here. Um, now, we're going to start out today with... Uh, what is it? Four best of threes That's right. for the first chunk. And then it's um, going to end until the regular time that we're normally on. Which and is, then yeah. we're going to do five best of threes. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be pretty cool. Of course, we are in the round of 64, so we do have a lot of games uh, to commentate for you guys. But uh, thank you so much. I really hope you guys can stay for the whole thing. I mean, you could actually have an entire day of StarCraft II casting here with Pretty Tasis much, yeah. and Artosis. Or an entire night. Or an entire uh, night, depending on where you are. Yeah. So grab some coffee if it's late, because we got um, a ton of awesome stuff coming up for you. By the way, the GSL, the largest StarCraft II tournament in the world with the largest prize pool. Anybody can participate. It uh, doesn't matter uh, where you're from, who you are, if you're a pro gamer, or if you're just, uh, you know, Joe the Plumber, uh, you know, you can, you can do it. You can cast these games. I mean, uh, you can, you can, you can, you can <laughs> no, no, you can't actually. You can play in these games. And um, all you have to do is sign up. We're going to have the prelim dates for um, season three um, in the next few weeks here. Yeah. And if you can figure out a way to get out here, you can play in it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's way better than the way they had StarCraft 1 set up where, you know, you had to be part of an organization. You had to have a license to be a pro gamer. Mm. I'm actually serious. If you're new to StarCraft 2, that's true. You had to have a pro gaming license. Not anymore. We're changing that at GOM TV, and now anybody can do this. That's why it's so awesome. That's right. It's a great worldwide tournament as long as you're in Korea. <laughs> so uh, That's true. <coughs> and speaking of which, we have a Chinese player playing in our first match today. Yes. Loner. Loner. He's basically been the most successful Chinese player along with Luffy from uh, the Chinese you know, mainland. That's true. Uh, it, actually, and we actually have a history with this guy. Yeah. Because no. um, you guys might not have known this, but Danami participated in the Stars War, uh, Wars tournament excuse me, in China, and um, where we represented the United States along with E.G. Hydra, and then we, uh, we had to fight the three of the best Chinese players and uh, three of the best Korean players. This was during the beta. We did manage to beat Korea, but Loner took out Tasteless in a huge upset. <laughs> uh, and now Loner is down here today. That's right. And he's going to be playing. So it's very exciting to have a Chinese player participating. Here is the match schedule. Yep, we had the opening day yesterday, as you see. And now we're just going to do a ton of matches over the next three days. On the 22nd, the round of 32 begins. And uh, speaking of which, tomorrow we will be going to BlizzCon. Yes, we so, can announce it now. Yeah, we are going to be going to BlizzCon, so we'll be doing the first half, and then we're going to have people filling in. We'll talk more about that tomorrow, but yep. uh, there you go. The, the round of 32 will be going until the 27th, then the 20th, 29th will be round of 16. The next week in the beginning, we're going to have the quarterfinals and then jump over to the semifinals, and then a whole week later, the finals. So here is the match uh, system, as you guys can see. The full tournament, of course, we don't actually commentate that. That's literally thousands upon thousands of people. Yeah. Um, but we do commentate the round of 64 to the round of 16, which is a best of three. The quarterfinals is a best of five. Semifinals, a best of seven. And the finals, a best of seven as well. So, of course, as the players get better, we get to see more games of them. Yeah. Um, obviously, the games have already been very high level for the round of 64. They get even more. Uh, high levels will get further, so we want to yeah. show you more of that and make it even more fair for the players. It really does jump up skill-wise, yeah. as does the prize pool. When Look you start hitting money. the round of 16 up, man, that's some serious dough. That is so much money. That is, um, if you're unfamiliar with Korean won, that is roughly $187,000. That is, I would like to have $187,000 or toasts. Yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be, be pretty, pretty good. good. Um, here is today's, or the round, excuse me, the match results for day one. As That's you can right. see, the Fruit Dealer, no shocker there, defeating Butterfly Effect, two of the best IDs I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Fruit Dealer from the TSL. Next Genius, one of the favorites um, for, as far as Protoss goes against Rain Foul. Bit of a one-sided series, but uh, entertaining nonetheless. OGS Inca, who made it to the quarterfinals against Aya. Aya taking one game off of him. Pretty surprising. Yeah. Definitely check that series out. Maka Prime, sick as hell. Yeah. Literally, I mean, uh, he actually has a high temperature. I mean, he's also a very sick, good player, but... Uh, very ill, does manage to beat Bonds Bon Zenith, and finally, I think I recognize that idea. Slayer's boxer, M. Johan, the legend himself. Yeah. 
battling happiness. He, and uh, apparently slain that nerd, man. Yeah, apparently that's not the best emotion in the world. Happiness taken out quite easily by the Emperor of Terran. Yeah, definitely not the best emotion. Victoriousness being the best emotion, though. Here. Next Bleach today, taking on Loner. First match. I have a lot to say about both those players. Now then we have someone named Boxer. Okay, now don't be confused. It says Boxer. That's not Slayer's Boxer. No. no that's, that's just there to make our casting jobs more difficult. He's named himself Boxer, obviously, after Slayer's Boxer. Uh, so clearly inspired by him against Baby Wera. That's right. And then we're going to have Apple against Phoenix Wera. Phoenix, the first Zerg that qualified during the qualification period. And then Liquid TLO. That's right. He's going against Songho. That is the match of the round of 64 as far as I'm concerned. Songho, a great Protoss, good friend of mine, as well as TLO, of course. Love that kid. So I don't know who to root for, man. I am yeah. torn. I am torn. Yeah, I am a little torn there, too. Though That's going to be a very even match. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. That's going to be the best match. I can't wait for that. Now, we, I feel like we both have so much to say about Loner because we've experienced playing against him as professional gamers. Um, you go first. Oh, okay. Uh, Loner is really good. He has yeah. actually played so many games. He's a very mass practicer. He was a Warcraft 3 player, an amateur in China, before switching over to StarCraft 2. Yes. And he's been amongst the top players in StarCraft 2 since the beginning of the beta. He was actually one of the highest ranked players on the U.S. server as well. I can't remember the ID he was using, but a lot of people were like, whoa, look at this guy. He's ranked so high. He's so good. Yeah. And he was actually like stuck in a division he wasn't supposed to be in. It was actually kind of funny. It was like, I think this guy's actually ranked the highest. Like, wow, but what's going on here? But anyways, really great player. Uh, he's playing a lot of events now, but he still gets very nervous. And I was talking to Edison, his manager today. Loner is super, super nervous for this match. Well, this is his first um, televised like match, like as in a TV show. Um, Obviously, all professional gamers have experience going to events. You know, you're going to be there Friday, uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday. You got three days, but then it's over with. This is an ongoing event, mm. um, and we know that there's a lot of Chinese players tuning in right now. We want to say hi to you guys uh, from Korea, to passionate American StarCraft right. players. Greetings to the Chinese community. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we think Loner's really good, and we're, Loner's really, great, we're really excited to see him play. And speaking of which, Loner tomorrow is actually going to be flying to BlizzCon. Yeah. Along with his teammate who also came down for qualifications but actually didn't make it through. I think he actually lost in the finals to Lynn, yeah, no, if I, I recall correctly. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so those two are actually going to be going to BlizzCon tomorrow. Same as us. Yeah. Pretty exciting. So he's playing here today. Yeah. He really wants to win this match and, uh, you know, get off on the right foot for BlizzCon. So we'll have to see. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of rooting for him, man, because you know who he's against? He's who? against Next Bleach, the kid who knocked me out of the qualifiers. I heard he beat a player named Artosis. Yeah, no, just, it was. It he's was, supposed to be amazingly good. <laughs> he he is. He is, but. Bleach knocked him out of the tournament. Yeah, uh, this so, tournament, uh, in so fact. It would actually be Artosis against a uh, <laughs> loner. Yeah. Uh, I, I, oddly enough, it would be another battle uh, between these two guys. Here is Bleach. Bleach. And he is a private first class. He's a ranked private first class. That's right. That's he hit the round of 32, I believe, mm -hmm. last time. Yes. And, uh, yeah, he did. Uh, this time, he has eliminated Artosis from a very difficult group, 2-1. to one. Uh, No, know. it was 2-1. Yeah, no, they were all, like, 40-minute games, too. I was so tired at the end. And then I was sick for three days. It was terrible. It was, like, a terrible... <laughs> stream of events. It rained for the whole week <laughs> yeah, because man, Artosis was, was eliminated from the tournament. It was angels crying. <laughs> <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby Jesus wept the day Bleach eliminated Artosis from the tournament. Uh, Bleach, very solid. He did get to the, uh, the round of 32, I believe, yep. Um, yep. in Season 1 here. It's a good Protoss. You know, that next team, they yep. have so many good Protosses, led, of course, by Next Genius. Probably the right. best Protoss in the world right now, to be perfectly honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I think it's Totally um, true. Yeah. And there's Loner. Loner. The pride of China. He's a recruit. In China, of course, I like that shirt. I love China. Awesome shirt. I, I, I really love China, wonder, too. I, love, I Actually, I've been to China twice. It's a great country. Yeah. Um, and I got to say, it is just really, really exciting to see that um, we now have a Chinese player here at the GSL. We had a European and American. Um, and a Chinese, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, that's right. One Hydra, of Hydra and, um, and uh, TLO in Season 1. Yeah. They made it to the round of 64. Now we got a Chinese player, too, so the tournament is getting more and more global. That's very true. Fitting the name, the Global Star League. Yeah. This guy, he has a lot of pressure on him. All the Chinese fans, no doubt, rooting for him. And I got to tell you, man, 
it's going to be pretty exciting if he can make it deep into this tournament. Yes. Yeah. The uh, you know I I love China. I love their fans. I love their events. Some of my favorite events to play in are Chinese events. Yeah. They they just treat you so well. The fans are amazing. Yeah. The fans are really cool. Yeah. That really when passionate you commentated about that WCG in Chengdu. Yeah. Amazing. It was I love amazing. That yeah. I don't know if you guys just read the uh, the MCs for the, the WCG event in uh, in Chengdu, China. So many uh, people. Uh, at that event, I mean, I know there's so many people in the country, but so many people showed up to yeah. cheer on esports. So, um, you know, it's you know, it's funny about this is Loner eliminated me from the Stars Wars tournament, yeah. and Bleach eliminated you from the GSL. So, uh, these guys must be really good. I hope uh, they, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> um, so we've introduced our two players. We're going to introduce the maps pretty soon here, and of course, maps play a huge role in an RTS game like StarCraft Two. Here's our first map, Scrap Station. Now, this is pretty interesting. Loner took out no maps. And in the meantime, Bleach took out Jungle Basin and Blistering Sands. Now, take a look at this. Loner did not eliminate any maps. Yep. I That is pretty badass. <laughs> That's yep. pretty cool. He's just yeah, like, no. I don't, like, I don't be, care what map. He whatever. doesn't even care what map he has to play on. They're like, what do you want to eliminate, Loner? He's like, whatevs. Whatevs. <laughs> whatever. All right, here's our, our third map. We didn't actually get to talk about the second map. The third map is Steps of War. The second map was Delta Quadrant. Yeah. This will be a Protoss versus Terran. I think this, for me at least, this is actually my favorite matchup to cast. I feel uh, like it's so dynamic. Yeah, you know, I, I like the uh, you're like Zerg, Zerg matchup. You're like a Zerg player. You're like, I don't, I don't actually care much for these, these the Terran versus Protoss I hate this matchup. matchup. <laughs> no, it's a good matchup, actually. I, I enjoy to watch it. Now, Steps of War, that's such a close map. Uh, Loner actually has a lot of really good timing attacks off two base. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see if it does go to the third game. If yeah. you can go ahead and pull those off against Bleach. But Bleach, he feels really good against all the races, he has said. Yeah. So, I mean, even, he's in good even shape. Even confidence is good. If the, the larger the tournament you're in, um, if your confidence is even against all the races, that's uh, very helpful. Absolutely. You have no idea who you're going to hit. Yeah. And he says, yeah, he feels really great against Terran. Yeah. I can vouch that he's good against Zerg, so. Yeah. All I just left is, is he good against Protoss? I'm sure There he you is. go. I'm, I'm sure, sure his he's teammates are some of the very best Protoss that's right. in all of Korea, so. Yeah, Nex is a pretty solid, uh, pretty yeah. solid. Xenex team. now. Yeah, Xenex, huge team. Not Xenex. Xenex. No anti no anxiety on that team. Xenex. <laughs> uh, the countdown is started. Let's get ready. It's gonna be Korea versus China. Let's see who wins. Over here in the red, on the right side of the map on Scrap Station, he is... Next Bleach. Next Bleach. It's better than the Street Fighter voice, which went Bleach. <laughs> now over here, from China. Literally the only planer from China, and his name is... Luna. Which makes perfect sense, because he is a loner from China. Ooh. I almost, yeah. Ooh. See what I did there? Okay. China against Korea. The round of 64 in the GSL. Cheers again to all the Chinese fans right. who are tuning into the stream. I'm sure we've got quite a few watching, as uh, it's pretty hard to watch the Korean stream. And you know what? Cheers to the Koreans who tune into the Korean stream, too. To the I've, English I've, stream, you mean? Uh, yes. 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 I would cheers to you guys, Annyeonghaseyo. too. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. Uh, uh, we have two very important players down here. Yeah. I've actually been surprised since this tournament. I've actually been recognized by Koreans on the street, as yeah, well as uh, Westerners. Loner putting his depot here, very space efficient. Can of course just mine still through there, sinking the depot. That's where Tasteless puts the depot as well. Throwing down that barracks, no wall in. It's such a hard choke to wall in. It's a double ramp, very wide. Yeah, let's take a look at the ramp for a minute. This is actually very large, uh, as Artos has said. So we do see players opting to just make the structures right next to um, you know the main base mm. and turtling in that way. You know, uh, the fact that he's not getting a wall in, that means that either he's going to make a lot of units early, or he's probably going to have a bunker mixed in with whatever he does, just in case. Because, you know, these warp gate busts, they can be very strong, especially on a map with such a wide choke. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I think Scrap Station, while well, the early game can be difficult if somebody does do some kind of, uh, you know, intense rush strategy, uh, the mid and late game actually get very complicated because of this region over here. The destructible rocks here and whoops and here. 
um, because that actually allows for a bridge through here, which makes expanding to these locations more complicated because you can be counterattacked. That's right. Uh, the third base, oftentimes uh, that's how far the game goes. We don't often see the whole map taken. And of course there is that island, which we have seen a little bit more often in the GSL than we normally do see. Used, you mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this island can play a pivotal role. Now, Loner getting a factory with no wall in it, just making a few marines. Pretty interesting opening by him. I'm actually very excited to see what he does because he's actually not getting a second gas, so it's probably not any sort of Banshee build. Could be some sort of Hellion. It could just be teching up to a dropship. We'll have to see in a moment. Loner, a very talented player. But yes. uh, Coach Edison was down here, uh, the coach of Loner. Very hey. important figure in Chinese esports. He was saying, um, you know, Loner's a little bit nervous here. This is his first big yeah, you know, televised match. He's actually match. quite I mean, known for being nervous as well. Yeah. Actually, I honestly, when I was a competitive player, I used to throw up before matches. I got used to get nervous <laughs> too. Uh, I never quite Now I that, have nerves of steel. That's right. So I can actually You're relate to You're a steely to nerd. I'm a steely nerd. Looks like we have Bleach over here controlling the um, Zelnaga Watchtower. And now going to have a probe come out here. Take uh -huh. a peek. Well, he is going to be going for mostly warp gates. I mean, he's warping in three gateways right now. Whoa. He's charging right through his uh, his warp, warp gate upgrade. <laughs> A little bit of a brain fart there, Tasteless. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's early in the morning. It well, it's is. the morning in nerd time, which means it's like 1 p.m. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm actually a vampire. I actually only get up when the sun sets. Uh, but ah. All right, now, take a look here. The Hellion, if the Hellion could spot, I don't know if it's going to be able to do it. If he could spot the warp gates down here, that'd be huge. Will he get to it? Intercepted by the Stalker. So he's not going to know about the four warp gate rush here. This is actually very interesting what we see going on in the loner's face. He didn't get the same gas, but he is going Banshee. This means, of course, he cannot get Cloak, and he can't support a whole lot of gas-heavy stuff. But I kind of like this. Look at that. A command center as well. So he's just going to go Marine Banshee expansion, which is pretty cool because having the Banshee, as you see, it's rallied, and uh -oh. he can actually put a lot of pressure on Bleach to make Bleach turn around. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, the Stalkers are over here. Nothing over here, but it's also going to depend on Loner's decision making a bunker on the way. Thank God he got that bunker for Loner's sake. That's right. He had to get that if he wasn't going to go double barracks. Otherwise, this okay. attack would kill him this straight up. This attack actually might kill him straight yeah, up anyways. This is, this it's going to be very strong. He's got to bring the SCVs out. There's no SCVs there. Banshee on the way, by the way, but the attack over here. Oh, no. And he traps the Marines in there. Beautiful move by Bleach. And just plowing through the Marines. The Banshee just sitting there as Loner panics with his SCVs. And there are just so many units left over. I do not know if Loner will be able to hold this rush. Stalkers right now uh, in pretty good health. The Banshee's coming over here, but of course, what, what's good about Marine Banshee is the combination that he doesn't quite have a lot of Marines. Oh, oh the Banshee taking a lot of hits! Banshee GG. dies in a GG. Loner oh, no. There. Yeah, that, that is not a happy game for Loner. It is raining in China right now. Big blow to Loner. Yeah, that's... First game, pretty one-sided there. That is too bad, man. He cannot be happy with that. It was just, you know, the perfect counter there by Bleach to what Loner was doing. You know. Well, what's unfortunate is that that Hellion... Uh, i got to be careful. We're high up here. If I scoot back yeah, too much, gotta... I'm actually going to fall. Um, that Hellion... Had it scouted the bottom right side rather than the um, the upper left. Yeah. You would have seen, seen all the warp the, gates. The, the three additional warp gates, making it a four warp gate rush. Yeah. And uh, he, he could have responded correctly. That's right. But um, he sees nothing, so he, he might have thought, oh, maybe he's getting like a robo or something. Yeah, or, yeah. Um, you know, Stargate or something like that. So um, that's just a perfect example of why scouting is so important. That's true. Now, one thing I'm a little bit worried about right now is Loner is a nervous player. Uh, yes. Edison said specifically he's very nervous before this match. Yes. And losing the first game in a manner like that is going to do nothing to help. Yeah, it's a huge blow to your ego. You're going to have to pull it together, get those jitters out of your system. Yeah, he's got to just you know put his head down and march forward. Oh, 